Bet you haven't watched many videos where you're looking at three flashlights stuck to the side of a washing machine with some alkaline batteries balanced on top. There's a reason for the madness. I purchased these from Harbor Freight. Everybody knows, you know, the little Harbor Freight Thunderbolt brand of batteries. These are some AAAs, which fit these flashlights, and everyone knows that goes to Harbor Freight. You can pick these flashlights up all the time for free. Matter of fact, today, I've got a new flyer that starts on Veterans Day, where you can get it free with... I don't know if it's any purchase. Yeah, any purchase. So you could buy something that's a nickel and get it. So I recently saw in, on the Harbor Freight website that they, they've since taken it down, but it said that these last as well as EverReady Energizers and Duracells. Well, it just so happens I have quite a few EverReady batteries. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some EverReadys. I'm going to put them in one flashlight. going to take some Thunderbolts, put them in another flashlight. And then the third flashlight, I'm going to leave with just the standard little non, they call them heavy duty batteries. It's little Harbor Freight batteries that come in them. And we're going to see which one lasts the longest. So let me get these swapped out and then we'll get the show on the road. Everything's set up. Energizers in this one, Thunderbolts in this one, and the batteries that came in these, the Malt Max. Extra heavy duty, 0% mercury batteries. If anyone wants to buy some, I have a few extras. So just uh to be fair, this is three out of this one, two, oh, here's the other one, <laughs> I was missing one, three out of this one, the two, and then the three out of this one, and of course this one still has all of the Malt Max batteries inside. So, let's turn these things on and see if I can do this without knocking over the batteries that I have balanced delicately on the units up oh, two and can i get three without knocking them off look at that there's all three just right out of the gate i'm noticing oddly enough <laughs> this one looks the brightest <laughs> even when i move my head the thunderbolt looks the brightest i can definitely see a different in these malt max i mean look at that you can see a brightness difference so let me see if i can get this up. And I'm going to try to position you a little better, but uh, just stay right here. I'm going to come back periodically and we'll see how this thing rolls and see which one holds out the best. 12 hours in, see that uh, they're all still going, going pretty strong. Probably not quite as bright as they were at the beginning. One thing I did want to note, initially the Thunderbolt was a little brighter than the EverReady starting out and it's still just a hair brighter so that's uh, shocking to me this one is starting to fade considerably uh, it's nowhere near as bright as the other two but it's definitely starting to go and this was i did a previous video on these little flashlights and I had the original batteries in and it was definitely fading at 12 it only lasted i think 15 hours something like that when you couldn't even really hardly see it. Uh, but these are still going pretty strong. Yeah, but uh, Thunderbolt, surprisingly, a little brighter than the EverReady. And this is, I know we're looking straight on it here, but even when I get on it, I look straight on into them. Definitely brighter, so curious. Let's see how long these things last. 15 and a half hours, which is almost exactly, well, it is exactly the hours when I did my first video on this original little flashlight with the or an original flashlight with the malt max batteries in it uh, it was just like this i mean there's technically still some light coming out but it's not very much at all i mean that's just barely barely some light uh, another interesting note these thunderbolt batteries i mean look that's still pretty bright that's still brighter than the ever ready i mean look at that even straight on, you can see that this is brighter than the EverReady. I'm really impressed. I did not at all expect this to happen. So, shocking there. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep letting this run until it eventually puts out zero light. Uh, but we're going to keep going on these two and see how much longer they go. So, 15 and a half hours. We're going to see. I, I think this probably got about three hours, my guess, three hours and probably two and a half hours. And uh, I think I'm probably going to cut this right now because I want to try to do a video to show you how much light it's putting out. 
so you can see the output light difference. Let me get a different angle. Change things up a bit. Rather than continuing, I was doing videos like every few hours and they just started getting stupid. So I've, what I've done, I've decided I would cut to this point. And what this is, believe it or not, this is 50 hours and about 25 minutes, maybe 27 minutes. 25 when I started this, uh, setting up for this shot. But over here, you can't really see it, but over here is the original batteries that come in the thing, the Malt Max. Uh, started dying, you know, 15, 16, 15 and a half hours. It was really kind of useless. It was about to the point of this, uh, maybe actually a little dimmer, but uh, it wasn't really much of a flashlight, more of a nightlight. So cut to uh, these, you know, it started out originally the Thunderbolt battery was brighter, but now as you can see, the uh, inner, uh, what is this, EverReady, the EverReady Gold batteries are actually brighter. The, after quite a few hours, they started getting brighter than the Thunderbolt, but the Thunderbolt's held on okay. Although I will say at this point, the Thunderbolt is more of a nightlight, and, and this is getting there, but it's still, you could probably use this as a flashlight, see your way limited, but as, neither are super bright. Not as bright as they're kind of looking, but I just wanted to show that versus that. I mean, this considerable brightness difference, or at least some. So, let me cut the light back on. I'll do a recap and we'll get this finished. So, final summary. It is my opinion based on this experiment that these little Thunderbolt batteries are actually pretty decent batteries. I mean, if you buy them for the $4.99 price point, they appear to be roughly equally as good as Everettis or Energizers or something like that. Now, that said, you can see, you know, this is a little brighter over, I mean, it's 50 something hours and this is still brighter than this. While these did start out stronger, uh, they faded pretty quick to where this was a little brighter, but I mean, still they were, they were fairly equal. Uh, it's just a little bit of difference here. It looks more so on the camera than it is in person sitting, or sitting in front of them. But, you know, for $4.99, I'd say these are a pretty darn good buy. Now, the one downside is, you know, you get an Energizer or an EverReady or something like that, and they all have this little born on their expiration date on them. Like here, 12 of 2024. These on the outer packaging band, which I have since thrown away, I believe these are only good for about a year. Uh, at least it's what they say they're good for. I don't know if it's because of lesser materials or, or what, but... You know, if you're somebody that's going to go through batteries pretty quick, definitely be worth it and probably the better buy. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut this video. I will put in the notes field. I'm going to leave these going, but I'm not going to keep doing constant cuts of the same thing. So what I'm going to do is uh, cut away in the video and I will put in the notes field. I'm going to leave these going and I'll let you know how long they lasted before they totally quit working like this one. So, uh, yeah. Pretty impressed, and honestly, I'm a little shocked because I thought that these would fade considerably faster, but hey, they seem to be just as good. Very impressive. Thunderbolt alkaline batteries from Harbor Freight. Thanks for watching, everyone. I lied just a little bit. One last video clip. I had to move these, by the way. I needed to use my washer. This is my refrigerator, but I just wanted to show. I turned this back on. You know how you let a battery sit in something and you get a little juice. I mean, it's barely putting out any light will die in minutes here but uh this is 62 and a half hours thunderbolt still excellent value but look at this look how much brighter that inner uh, ever ready is i mean holding on here at the end these ever eddies look at that i mean amazing and this is 62 and a half hours of constant use look at this i got a little box here so we can show look at this brightest not quite as bright matter of fact still rudimentary flashlights wouldn't light up a room by any means but you could probably read with it if you needed to uh, just maybe a night light to show where not to step or something and be dead in seconds here but yeah look at that i mean pretty impressive and more importantly these are apparently excellent little emergency flashlights i mean 62 and a half hours look at this You'd still have that much light, 62 and a half hours. If you shifted to the little side light here, you would probably get 
yeah, I mean, look at that. So, a very, very impressive, no matter which battery you use. Thank you.